popping bubbles. It relieves stress. Get it over 500 likes. We can do. Give me a high five, bro. Why are you watching this? High five, bro. All right. All right. Let's get to the news items. Couple of dope gaming news items for the video. The first one EA, a bunch of flip floppers. Y'all remember EA saying. We're not going to support the, their, their excuse why they haven't been supporting the Switch that. We've done extensive research and we found many of the games that gamers would play if we were to put it on the Switch, they already would prefer to play on their other systems. There were so many holes in that logic, but to EA's credit, I do have to say, and I just know no gamers and a lot of people that I know who have a switch also do have either an xbox one or playstation 4 where they do play some third party games so there's a little bit of credit to what ea says but they changed their tune real quick well now it looks like ea is saying they're reconsidering um, this is an interview from Game Informer Mag Magazine, EA's Chief Studio Officer, Laura Mealy. She says, yes, we invested with FIFA. Bro, FIFA this year on the Switch is missing the best mode. Bro, that Volta, when they released that trailer for Volta on FIFA, it convinced me to buy FIFA 20 and it's not coming to the Switch. Shame on you, EA. All right. This is what they said. We invested in... I'm going to put FIFA in quotation marks. Because y'all know what version of FIFA y'all giving us. We had good success there. I love that we have such a great global reach and global presence on that platform with that game. We are absolutely looking at more Switch games in our portfolio. So more to come on that. We're not going to announce anything as of yet. But it is absolutely a platform we're looking at for some of our more successful games. You know it's real successful, bro? Madden! It's too late this year. I already got it on my Xbox. But come on, bro. Madden would be a popular game on the Switch. <coughs> a perfect game for the Switch would be Sims 4. Sims 4, perfect game because it would be on par with all the other consoles. So, it looks like EA is reconsidering supporting the Nintendo Switch. It should. Nintendo Switch is selling like madness, boy. All right, so stay tuned. But knowing EA, we're about to get Tetris on the Switch. <laughs> we're about to get... Um, because Garden Warfare 3. Invites have already been sent out, but the invites have only been sent out for PlayStation and Xbox. But that would have been a perfect game for the Switch. But you know what version of God... What, we're gonna get we're gonna get the plant versus zombie mobile game on the switch <laughs> just know ea bro nothing surprised me and a hey, ea i still like ea but when i was growing up they were like my favorite company bro i was on madden heavy by madden every single year i used to just like their games man the bull versus blake blazers basketball games 2k's taking that lunch money um and what and it translated to nba live nba live used to be lit back in the um, super nintendo genesis even up to the playstation one days the 2k <coughs> took that lunch um but um they've had a lot of missteps still good games like anthem i like anthem um the st when star wars comes out i'm a huge star wars fans and they have the ob ob1 ob1 kenobi they have the exclusive rights to star wars bro 
uh, the video games and so when that Star Wars um, Jedi Fallen Order come out, that's a no-brainer day one buy for me, bro. So, they have some good games. I, did I mention Anthem? I like Anthem. Dude's hating on Anthem, but I like it. But, um, they probably have Nintendo fans upset. <laughs> All right, next news item. Well, I was checking my email today. And I got a notification from Nintendo. Your online subscription is set to renew soon. It's been a year already. One year of Nintendo online services. I have to say, it's been like luster. It's been the same exact thing we've had before we started paying. Except for the NES games. NES games are still lit. I don't care what anybody else say. This is what I grew up on, bro. So NES games are still lit. Some of the months have been hit or miss with NES games. But overall, if I have to year my one F if I have to rate my one year experience with Nintendo's online service, it's a D minus, bro. I'm not gonna give them an F. The NES game saved you, but D minus. Online connection, garbage. Features, garbage. No achievements, garbage. It's just the games, bro. It's just the games that are lit. The actual online services, straight. Uh oh. You know what emoji's coming in. This is what we think of Nintendo's online services, bro. That's right. We got them with the goofy eyes, bro. And the goofy teeth, bro. That's what the online services. Garbage. Poop. All right. So, I also uh, mentioned this to let you guys know it's time. It's going to be time to renew. Now, am I going to renew? Yes, because it's only 20 bucks. And if I want to play my Nintendo Switch games online, I sort of don't have a choice. And it's a, I have a family plan where I pay 35 for the year. I got four Switches, bro. So, my kids, we share it. So, I can't. It's, <laughs> we're pretty much getting what we pay for. <laughs> it's cheap. But we have no features, no services. Um, but your online subscription is set to renew. If you're thinking about canceling or renewing, just beware. You're about to get charged 20 bucks any day now. <laughs> Nintendo sent me an email. Check your email. All right. Next news item. Previously, it's been reported that if you purchase the Nintendo Switch after July 17th, that Nintendo's going to allow you to trade in that brand new Switch for an upgraded Switch version 2. Well, psych! It ain't happening. It's, and it's now being confirmed that Nintendo does not have any trade-in program for your Switch. So the Switch you got is the Switch you're stuck with. But if you're right about to get a Switch, they still have a couple of white box, gray sw box switches on store shelves. Make sure the box of your Switch is all red. That the box is all red. Um, for, so make sure you get the Switch with the longer battery life. And next news item. Some dudes were hyped for this. I <coughs> don't care for this at all. Bubble Bobble 4 has been announced for the switch i have to say this i've never been a fan and i said every time there's i've been saying this every time there's an nes game a nes online game that comes for free each month and it's a one stage puzzler type game i've never been a fan of those games these were like the early nes games the original mario brothers i hated that game not super mario brothers on the nes before Super Mario Brothers, before there was a Super in front of Mario, there was just Mario Brothers, where it was a one one stage platforming. The um, the turtles are coming out the pipes on the side. I do not like those one stage, um, one one stage puzzle type games. And this is it. So never been a fan of Bubble Bobble, bro. I haven't, bro. I'm just saying, Bubbles. What does Bubbles do? Uh, oh me one. How can you hate on Bubble Bobble? You know what, dude? Why don't you sniff these bubbles? All right, and the last news item for this video. Just want to remind you guys. Oh, I'm about to. I'm eating my Wheaties tonight. 
tomorrow is going to be a huge day for gaming. Gamescom will be tomorrow. Your boy has you covered. I will be live streaming all day for Gamescom. It starts. It starts though with Nintendo's Nintendo's having a indie presentation at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming it. The last indie presentation was pretty lit. And then from that indie presentation, we have um, Xbox's Gamescom, um, Xbox's Inside Xbox. Then we're rolling right into Gamescom. And so tomorrow is going to just be a dope, dope, dope game, uh, a dope day for streaming. So make sure your notifications are on. You're subscribed to the channel because your boy has you covered for all the news that's going down tomorrow. We're going to get some surprise announcements, ladies and gentlemen. And before we end this video, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite, courtesy of one of the sponsors. Shout out to the homie Scoobs. Um, we're giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky member of the OGC. Three ways to join. The first way is pretty much free if you already have Twitch Prime. If you have Twitch Prime, you could join. You could, you could subscribe to my Twitch for free. You could join also through YouTube by becoming a um, YouTube member. There's a join button right below this video. Or on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. Any of these three ways you get invited to our private gaming discord. We have a dope gaming community. We game every night. Just a disclaimer, bro. 2K20 is about to drop in about three weeks. We're going to be on that 2K20 heavy. But we play different games every night. But we always end the streams with 2K um, because it's because we, have, we just have a good time, bro. All right. What do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men, 10, dope. We out, boy. bubble thing it poops in your mouth brush your teeth <laughs>